So perimeter area and volume are three very related concepts, yet they're all very unique and different in their own right. Let's discuss some of the differences. Perimeter is moving around the edge of a figure, specifically a two-dimensional figure like you see here. Um, you can imagine walking around a structure, your house, walking around a track, tying a ribbon around the outside of a board, um, or even a fence around a yard. All of those things are going to define a perimeter or the outer edge. The easiest way I remember perimeter is I think of it as the rim of something. Area is going to be very closely related to perimeter. The biggest difference is area is now talking about the inside of this figure or the surface maybe is a better word. So if we were to fill this figure with the red color here, everything in here. And if you see these little dots here, those show you uh, little squares, and each of those squares is how we measure area. Perimeter is going to be measured in straight lines. You'll see the line here, one, two, three, four in this rectangle. Area is going to be measured in squares. So if we were to count up all these little squares, which I'm not going to do, um, we would get an idea of the area of this figure. Now, perimeter and area are very related, and you can see in that diagram. To show volume, we're going to have to draw another diagram here. So we'll start with our rectangle, and then we're going to need to draw another rectangle and use that to make a three-dimensional figure. Volume is now talking about how much something can hold or how much is truly inside a container. In this case, we're talking about this rectangular prism here. So when perimeter was measuring in straight lines, area was measuring in squares. Volume is now measuring in cubes. You can think of as stacking a bunch of unit cubes in a figure or a container. And this is something we're going to use not only in math but also in science. So we have units. This could be any unit like inches or centimeters. If we're going to stick with inches, this would be an inch. This would be a square inch. One inch by one inch would make a square. One inch each side. And then we would have a cubic inch which would be one inch by one inch by one inch length times width times height. Here we would just have length. Here we would have length times width. And here we would have length times width times height. Now when we say we just have length up here on perimeter, that's assuming we're adding all four sides together. So you would need to add those sides and you would use addition. For area, we're going to do length times width. So obviously we're using multiplication. In volume, we have length times width and then we have an added dimension of height. So we're going to continue to use multiplication down here, but we're adding that third dimension 